Let's do it, fish man. Let's do it, fish man. Flop around, flop around like a fish. Jeremy, but we like to call him Fishman. He's a white belt, and this is his first ever jujitsu tournament. And this is Sam, also a beginner who likes singing and baking and has never done a competitive sport in her life. And this is Amy. She gave me permission to call her a dedicated jujitsu hobbyist. She does yoga, likes to wear rocks, and take naps, sometimes all at the same time. And last but not least, this is Jason Pajawalaga. And what these four killers have in common is that this is their first ever jiu-jitsu competition. So follow along as these beginners ascend to glory and maybe even help us win a top team trophy? Ooh, I love me a little competition. <laughs> as the team rolls up to the gym, as per the usual, the higher belts start their matches first. And the guy going first for us, you might recognize from the quintet and octet team, Evan Old Man Fleming, who gets us started by beating the only guy in his bracket and getting us our first gold. And in Cruzy's single opponent bracket, he beats him once in OT and again via armbar, and secures us our second gold medal. It's a good start to the day, and Amy is looking to add to the collection. But to do so, she has to win a best of three against a really tough opponent. All three matches went to overtime, and they were all super exciting. Drop that left elbow! Right the toe! Right the toe! And after losing her first round by submission in overtime, Amy manages to rally and win round two by fastest escape. And after an intense round three regulation, rotate the arm, rotate the arm They go to one final overtime round where Amy manages to pull through and win by fastest escape. Securing the team's third gold medal. And this might have been Amy's first competition, but I don't think this is the last we'll see of this matchup. She's like, rematch. <laughs> That's yeah. so good. My, look at my arm. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's so much shame. We pick up with Sam's story at the end of round one regulation with Sam's first overtime round. And it starts with Coach Dylan asking for a tight seatbelt grip. But Sam, being so stubborn, opts for the reverse seatbelt grip gambit, a bold overtime strategy. Sam does a good job of locking in a body triangle, but because of her darn grip, her opponent is easily able to slip out her upper body. Sam only has 21 seconds to escape, so I remind her of our foolproof overtime escape strategy. Hey, Sam. You're gonna go down right away. You don't stop moving, Sam. You're gonna get out right away. Keep it right. 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 Ke
So Sam wins her first match in OT, but she is completely exhausted. And I mean, like, on the verge of passing out exhausted. Now that we've dealt with the pesky negative thoughts, five minutes was definitely enough to get Sam seen straight again. But her opponent is completely fresh and is hopping around like a little bunny rabbit. Use your left or your back hand to grip her head. Now, I know Sam very well, so I'm very familiar with the look she gets on her face when she's about to pass out. So not only am I anxious about the outcome of the match, but I'm watching her face because I genuinely think she might pass out. Hands on the inside, Sam. Break her down now. Good. Yes. Good. Break her down. Yes. Good. Climb your legs up. Climb your legs up. Yeah, yeah. can make something happen here. Isolated yeah. arm now. You can use and isolate the arm. Climb those legs up again. Break the posture, Sam. There you go. Arm bars there when she stands like that. Get your right arm on the inside, Sam. As her opponent continues to apply heavy pressure, I begin to wonder if Sam's eyes are no longer blinking, but instead, basically, she's just taking really short naps between having her eyes open or something. Sam wins via a guillotine-ish submission. And winning gold at her first ever jiu-jitsu competition. Meanwhile, some equally as important but less featured competitors contribute to the total medal count for the day. We captured this weird moment in one of Anna Cat's matches. Stay on it, Annie! Stay on it, Annie! Despite the confusion, he heeds my advice and eventually gets the tap. And when his final match goes into overtime, he manages to take home a bronze medal. Sahash puts on a really good showing as usual, fastly escaping his way to his gold medal match, where he unfortunately loses by armbar to a very tough competitor. And we see Jolson, our white belt ADCC champion, have his gold medal match go down to overtime fastest escapes, where he comes up just short to our friends and rivals over at 10th Planet Vancouver. And that brings Vandal's total medal count for the day up to 5 golds, 2 silvers, and 2 bronze. That's not too bad, and we still have 2 competitors to go. But before we see what happens with Fishman, Jason has started his gold medal match. 
Now, at this point in the tournament, we as a team are sitting at five gold medals, which has put us in the running for a top team adults ranking. And not only that, but if Jason wins this match, we might even have a shot at first place. So don't f it up, Jason. <laughs> Jason comes through, earning Vandal its sixth gold medal, and of course, taking home a gold at his first jiu-jitsu tournament too. And now all that's left is to find out how Jeremy Fishman Sarin will end up doing in his final two matches. How you feeling? I feel good, man. Yeah. You're getting the uh, end of the day vibes. Kind of like more low key chill vibe. Yeah, it's also a little bit nerve wracking because it's like I, you know, like going first would be just like get it out of the way. Yeah. Just like waiting and waiting. Everybody who's here is gonna be watching. I just gotta treat it like a regular role. Be calm. Well, and go for it, man. Like, yeah. were you watching Anakin at all today? Yeah, yeah. Incredible. That's dude. that's like my game. That's what I want to do. Yeah, exactly. Basically. And I think the biggest thing for Annie was he was really just going for it, right? Yeah. Like he wouldn't let go of their fucking legs. Like if that's the sub he wanted. That's what he was going for. Yeah. Okay, good luck. I'll be recording. And since it's the end of the day, we've got the entire team and both cameras crowding around Jeremy's match to witness all the action. So after a few more straight ankle attempts, Jeremy can't quite close it out. So the round goes to overtime. I just love how these AVA overtime rounds happen right after regulation. It's so exciting knowing that both competitors have usually already reached their limit and then have to do it all over again. So Jeremy escapes in 14 seconds, but the fish man ain't gonna let this guy off the hook that quickly. He's looking to hold for 15 seconds or get a sub. Jeremy makes it to his gold medal match, so of course the boys gotta give him a good rub down beforehand. So with his right arm and shoulder incredibly loose, Jeremy confidently steps onto the mats for his gold medal match. And we don't know for sure, but there's a good chance that if Jeremy wins gold here, it'll be enough for us to clinch the number one spot for the adult top team rankings. Let's go, Fishman. Yeah, 
Jeremy. Find his hip. Jeremy gets the sub by straight ankle and secures us our seventh gold medal of the night. And when we tallied up all the points, it turned out that we placed number one on the adult top teams ranking. Who would have guessed? Group photo after he gets the medal. Yeah. Cool. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. The fact that you made it this far does wonders for the channel's growth. So thank you. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like and leave us a comment letting us know what your favorite part of the video was. And last but not least, if you think you might want to see more Vandal Jiu Jitsu videos, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss when we post. We've been to a few more tournaments this month and we're excited to share them with you guys. So stay tuned and thanks again for watching.